your live Super Doppler 4 HD weather forecast. Oh, I'll be there. My son's been looking forward to this. Uh... You know, for months now. <laughs> if you're heading out to Bon Secours Wellness Arena tomorrow, you'll need the umbrella just in case because we are tracking some rain that's going to be moving through the area. You can see the first of those changes have moved into all of our uh, areas. You can see some clouds taking hold of the area, but nothing showing up on live Super Doppler 4 HD. No concerns or impacts into the evening hours here. It'll be tomorrow morning that we'll start to see a chance for some showers. You can see clouds building across the area and then our drizzle and light rain chances increase increase through the day tomorrow. You can see light rain from Greenville and Spartanburg, Lawrence northbound. The further south you go, the better chance you're going to be at sea, staying dry tomorrow. Uh, right now we're at 46 degrees in Spartanburg, 52 in Greenville, 47 in downtown Asheville. As we go into the overnight hours, we'll fall a little bit, not as cold as we had last night, but upper 30s to around 40 degrees across the area. For tomorrow, cloud cover in place, yes. A chance for showers, well, it depends. It's not going to be a rainy day, but there's going to be that chance of those pesky showers that move on through for a few minutes and then they're gone. Just enough to coat the ground and then move on out. Temperatures won't move a whole lot throughout the day. 45 degrees at 10 o'clock, 52 by the end of the day with a better chance for rain by 9, 10 o'clock tomorrow evening as our system gets closer to us. Look for high temperatures to be in the middle 50s in the northern part of the upstate, but for you folks in Lawrence, Greenwood, Abbeville, and Elberton where you'll see a better chance at avoiding those pesky drizzle and showers moving through, uh, you'll stay warmer throughout the day. Let me time it out for you. The heavier rain begins to arrive in our area as we approach tomorrow night. Until then, just those areas of drizzle and showers. Look what happens, though, by tomorrow night. Heavier bands begin to move on through, especially by Sunday. Your church plans, you need to give yourself some extra time to get there because some pockets of heavier rain will be getting to move on through by 7, 8, 9 o'clock. This all continues into the early afternoon hours of Sunday. By evening, we start to see it push on out and we'll see drier air beginning to work on in. All in all, I think we'll see at least a half an inch across the area with some areas locally getting closer to an inch. Four day plus looks like this. So 53 degrees tomorrow, 56 on Sunday. We take a little bit of time to cool down, but by the time we get to Tuesday, yeah, it's going to be cold out there. A high of only 45, but it's a short lived cool down. We're talking mid to upper 40s Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we warm back up to the middle 50s by the end of the work week.